Hi, Arya, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed the mighty Uka, and we slayed him right up here in a cave near the Lakari Tar Pits, which is a cave full of apes. We found him there, the mighty Uka, big and red, and pretty much we missed the kill. And a mage came and stole from us. So we had to wait for him to respawn, and then after he respawned, we took him down quite easily. We also seen a multi-boxer in there. He gave us some buffs that we still have. He gave us Power Word Fortitude and Arcane Intellect, which was nice to have for that battle. I don't think we needed it, but it's good that we got that. And we also got, I believe, an axe called Beast Slayer. Is that, the, is that the weapon we got? Yeah, I think we got Beast Slayer. Pretty good. And now we're getting chased down by a Ravisaur Runner. These guys are fast, man. So let's get out of here. And today, we're going to finally do the quest for this book. Where is it? Found this book. This journal, actually. Is that it? No. Crystal Pile on User Manual. There's another journal that I have. There it is. A mangled journal. Golden's journal. You have uncovered a mangled journal. Parts of it remain leg legible. With a Wilden Marshal claiming ownership over the contents therein. If the journal is accurate, then Wilden may be found somewhere in the northern parts of the crater. According to the journal, he and his companions sought higher ground from the savage beasts of the crater once their base camp were overrun. We have to return this journal to Wilden. We've already met him, did some quests for him, so I know who that is. So I guess we'll return this journal to Wilden. And we'll see what he has in store for us. And if he doesn't have anything in store, like any quests to do or anything like that, then... We probably will end up, I don't know, I guess we'll check out, see what quests are left. And then, I guess we're going to be making our way out of Ungrow Crater. And I'm going to miss this place. I think we'll be back eventually. Probably in the future we'll come back, maybe finish up some quests before they turn, uh, turn gray. Probably come back later on when we're like in our mid 50s. But I think it's time to get out of Ungoro. That's my plan. Gotta get out of here soon. We've been here for too long. Fought too many Alliance. It's time for us to go somewhere else. Is that some Alliance right there? Look at that guy. A little 56 named Ockney. Human Mage. Let's see if we can challenge him. Is he going to Willidan's? Marshall's Refuge? He is. I think we can beat a 56 mage. We got some pretty decent buffs. Is this where we want to be? No, this is a crystal. I think we can beat a level 6 56 mage, dude. Is he standing here? No, he's running away. I don't blame him. How she stayed. It's too bad. He left. We're not chasing him down, that's for sure. We have these nice buffs, though, man. I wanted to try him out. Look at this hunter, level 48 in Angoro. Very brave. Oh, we got another, another alliance. We're going to take him out. Shmimi, the warrior... How's it going, Shmimi? Time to take you out. Master Sergeant Shmimi down. Shmimi. I wonder if Shmimi's gonna come get revenge. So I gotta watch my back. Gotta watch my back when I'm in Marshall's Refuge. There's Karna Ram Travel. So we're back in Marshall's Refuge. 
We need to turn this mangled journal. Oh, gotta watch over these blood pale pests. Pretty annoying. There we go. There's Willard and Marshall. Let's give him his journal Good back. To you. Hello there. I and my companions are happy to see some living beings here other than overgrown savage beasts. What brings you into Ungoral Crater? Well, look at this, my journal. I thought it was lost, much like almost everything else we brought into Ungoral. I thank you kindly for returning this to me. See you later. And that's it. That's it. What if that mage wants to bet? Oh, level 60. Level 60. Talk to me. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out who we pick fights with. Okay, let's sell some stuff here. Get rid of this. Probably gonna get rid of that. Four gold for this axe. I knew it was gonna be good. Should we keep that chest? I guess, yeah. I think we have enough bag slots now. Get rid of that husky stuff. Raptor flesh we don't need. Heart of the wild's okay to keep. Oh, yeah. Where's this guy? The, the Danga. Let's give the Danga some blood petal sprouts. So let's read this again. The Danga looks up at you. As you approach her, she seems to be hoping for something. She's probably hungry. There's got to be something growing in the crater. That would just... That would be just the perfect snack for a large herbivore. The Danga's a big girl. Whatever you bring her, there would need to be a lot of it. Placing the sprouts in front of her, the Danga seems pleased. She nudges a small brown wrap package towards you in exchange for the treat. So let's see what's in this small brown wrapped package. Hope it's something good. And we got a major healing pot, a scroll of agility, and actually something to drink. We got some mana. Something that gives us mana back. That's good. We needed one of those. Literally haven't had any water on us. Ever since we came to Angoro. So let's have a let's do another quest. Let's have a chat with Larian. We'll check out the quest called Marvin's Workshop. I managed to spy on what Mujin was doing, and he's actually growing the darn things over here. I think the only solution here is to no, not talk to him. What are you thinking? The solution is to fight back. We'll need you to we'll need the help of my friend Marvin, who is has a workshop in Ratchet. I'm sure he'll be able to create some sort of gadget that will help us. So we gotta go all the way to Ratchet. Be good. And I guess that's what we're gonna do today. I guess we're gonna go to Ratchet. We're gonna go to Marvin's workshop. So let's say goodbye to Girl Crater. It was fun. Enjoyed fighting the Alliance. But now we're off to Thunder Bluff. Alright. We're in Thunder Bluff, guys. We don't really get to come to the main cities very often. So I'm not going to waste my time. And I am going to... Uh, I think we read all this stuff already. It's a quest item. I'm going to make sure we have a good amount of uh, materials on us. And herbs and all that stuff so we can make some healing potions. And what we need is Cadgar's whiskers. So I'm going to pick up some of those. I think we have some inside ah, of our bank. I've been expecting you. No, we do not. What a shame. Okay, well, um... Whoa. I guess we're going to have to buy some Cadgar's whiskers. We might buy some sungrass, too. Since, uh, layering... Has gone away. Now we're all just one server again. The prices of herbs have gone up. What a surprise. So I expect this to be quite costly. So we only want seven of these. Seven sungrass for 230. You think that's a good deal? It's okay. It's not bad. I'm going to actually buy that. It's not bad. 230 for seven sungrass. It's okay. And so that would put us up to 20. So now we need Cadgar's Whiskers. Cadgar. Let's put Cadgar. There we go. 
We need 20 of these. Is this the cheapest 20 stack they got? 398 for a 20 stack. We'll buy it. And there we go. Now we can make peeling pots. I think we'll make like a stack of five. And then we'll be good to go. And then after this, I'm going to go to the Druid Trader. Oh, it looks like we got a, a message from somebody called Akar Griakan. Great discount. Oh. Staying away from that. That guy's a gold seller. Looks like there's people in this game that, like, I don't know, they try to sell you gold. It's against the terms of service. I recommend staying away from it. It also ruins the economy of the game, but... It's just the way games are, you know? People always look for loopholes and easy way, easy ways out, you know? So, yeah. Stay away from buying gold and classic WoW. Might lose your account. It's not worth it. Should have deleted those messages that we got. So let's go to the Elder Rise. We'll have a little chat here. With, uh... Turak Runetoter. Seek Druid training. Let's see what we got. Hurricane Moonfire 9. That's better than Moonfire 8. We'll take that. Rip 5. Challenging Roar. That's a taunt cower. Demoralizing Roar 5. That's good. Rebirth, Tranquility, Rejuve 9. We're getting some good stuff. That's all I really want. So let's update that. Let's make sure we get Moonfire 9 on our bars. Let's make sure we get Rejuve 9, I believe it's called. Yeah, we got Rejuve 9. And then... Demo, Demo Roar 5. Oh yeah, Demo Roar just automatically ranks itself up. And then we got Rip. Rip 5. Yeah, Rip R automatically ranks itself up. So that's good. We got a lot of... A lot of ability upgrades there. So now Flight Carrier is stronger. Which is good. I don't know where we're going to uh, quest next after Ratchet though. When we go to Ratchet, we're probably going to have to decide... On where we're going to go next. Might go back to Booty Bay maybe. Thinking about that. And I think we're prepared to leave now. Leave Thunder Bluff. Because I don't think we need to buy any more gear. Like our gear's pretty good. We have 82 gold. I have mats to make uh, pots. I'll make like I'll actually make some pots right now. Make like five of these. So we'll have some pots on us. They're not as good as the... I wonder how you make, uh... How you learn how to make major healing pots. So those would be good to have as well. But yeah, not bad. Our bags are not too full. Maybe we should probably get rid of some stuff in our bags. I think that would be a good idea. We seem to have... A little bit too much stuff in our bags. So we gotta keep going down here. Go find the bank again, and we'll just drop off some herbs, I guess. Okay, here's the bank. Over here named... The guy named Cloth Hobo. I hope he's alright. You wish to speak? Just sitting there near the bank. A lot of stuff to sell. These power crystals, I guess we'll just get rid of these. Green, yeah, we don't really need to hold on to those. Dream foil, I don't think we need. Um, what else? Life root. Gold thorn I want to keep. Anything else we want to keep? Sun grass I want to keep. Maybe, maybe we should buy more sun grass. I think that's good enough. This we'll just get rid of. Blue petal sprout. We don't need any of that. And 
think the rest of the stuff we can just sell. A lot of trash we have here. Gotta get rid of all this trash. What's this? Coal? I don't even know why I have coal on me. I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's probably worth nothing. That's the thing about this game. Like, this stuff, like Gorilla Fang, like, yeah, it's probably not worth much right now, but there's... It's always like a weird time when things are worth more and it, like items like gorilla fangs become re like relevant people want to buy them so it is good to hold on to these items but sometimes you just don't have the space yeah i guess that's pretty good the crystal pylon users manual manual we'll just keep on uh, keeping our bank it's like kind of like a keepsake to remember Ungoro by. Get rid of this empty barrel. Any other garbage? No, that's it. Oh, we have some yellow. We actually have some oh, yellow uh, crystals to get rid of. Let's get rid of that. And there we go. Maybe we should go to Undercity, actually. And get rid of these uh, Ungoro slime samples. That could be something we could do. Maybe next episode. So I kind of want to go to that side of the world, anyways. But now let's uh, let's talk to Pit Miss Runner. Greetings. We'll sell all this crap. Goodbye. And there we go. That stuff's gone. I could go look and see if there's any armor. But a lot of my gear's looking pretty good right now. We're already, you know what I mean? I think we should just wait on the loot. And we're already waiting for uh, for a weapon to uh, to be usable. Because we have this level 53 mace, I believe, right here. Twig of the world tree. That we're going to use in only four bars. So I don't really think Probably I need to purchase any like new gear or weapons. So let's go to Ratchet, and we'll take a flight over to Marvin's workshop. Yep, gotta, gotta travel to Marvin's workshop, and then I guess maybe we'll have to go back to Angoro eventually. So we'll just keep this. That's, that's what I expect to happen. Marvin's gonna, like, give us something to go back to, uh... The Muigen or whatever his name is. Yeah, Muigen. And that'll give us a reason to go back to Ungoro. Yeah, we're moving along. It's pretty good. Almost level 53. So in Ungoro, we got, I'd say, like a level and a half. It's pretty decent. I think we were there for over like 15 to 20 quests. Which is not bad. Looks like people are selling Manual of Heroic Strike. This is supposedly really expensive. This is uh, an ability that warriors use often. And it, uh, this is like the max rank of Heroic Strike you can get. Kind of like how I got a rank of moon, Moonfire. And you buy, and you can obtain this book by doing AQ20. And that just came out. So these books right now are over like a thousand gold. So, this Lockshot guy could make s some decent amount of money selling these books thing is a lot of people won't pay the price is eventually going to go down over time so a lot of people just don't pay and they just wait you know what i mean wait for it to drop but these will always hold some value and they're good to uh to sell if you have like a max level character you an aq20 and you get your hands on one you should consider selling them before they uh go down in price Yeah, I'm enjoying uh, Phase 5. A lot of WoW content coming out in the, in the future, too, with Shadowlands coming out. So that should be exciting as well. 
And then right after Shadowlands, Nax Ramus, Phase 6 of Classic WoW, should be just around the corner. I can't wait for that. Hope our guild gets there. Alright, we're flying into Ratchet. I haven't been to Ratchet in so long. Same with the Barons. I remember sits like taking these guys out, these like sun scale creatures. And you have to collect feathers and stuff like that from them. And there's that tower right there, North Watch Hold. That was I had those were some tough quests in North Watch Hold. Tough quest chain there. Alright, well we're back. We're back in Ratchet. And now we need to find Marion's friend. Marvin Rit Marvin Rivet Seeker. He has a workshop. I don't think this is his workshop though. So let's get out of here. And try to find Marvin. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, or I probably already mentioned this before, but there's a bank in Ratchet. So if you ever need to drop anything off, I'm his money friend. you can just come to Ratchet and maybe we'll drop off this uh, this tunic. It's taking up space. And this one. Actually, we'll just get rid of this. I don't need any of those. It's always something to put in the bank. What's this thing? Box of empty vials. Oh no. I'm not opening that up yet. Alright. Is this the guy's workshop? Marvin? No. Doesn't look like a workshop to me. This looks like a workshop though. Okay, there is Liv Rizzlefix. Hey, how you doing? Hiya, this workshop isn't mine, no. But one day after I finish training, I'm going to be an inventor just like my hero, Marvin Rivet Seeker. Never heard of him? Well, it just so happens that he left quite some time ago to study some ancient troll runes he kept talking about. He left in a zeppelin, not quite sure about where exactly he went. Tanaresh Sin Tankeris Tenerisani. Liv shakes her head. No, that's not it. Marvin's workshop. Marvin has been gone for quite a long time now, Fly Carrier. He went off to Tenaris to study some of the ancient troll runes. Now what was it that you said you needed? Alright, well there we go. Zapper fuel. You're in luck, flight carrier. I've been working on some of my own experiments while Marvin's been gone. And one of them is a short range bug zapper. With just a few ingredient adjustments, it should be great for ridding yourself of those blood petal pests. I can let you have one of my zapper prototypes but you'll still need to collect the fuel you can get the necessary atali haze that the zapper needs in the temple of atalakar the deep lurkers murkworms and oozes are the ones you'll need to get it from deliver the unloaded zapper and five samples of atali haze to larion and marsh's refuge so that requires us to do uh to do sunken temple which is a dungeon in the Swamp of Sorrows. Which I don't think we're going to do. Which is right there. So that's too bad. We're not going to get to try this bug zapper out. But we'll probably still end up going back to Ungaro. There's still some quests there to do I think. Maybe some will open up as we level up. But we did a lot today guys. We got our... Uh, some, some of our abilities leveled up. We cleaned up our bags. Got a little bit of XP. Fed a Kodo. And now we're going to embark on a new journey. Maybe to a new zone. I wonder where we should go next. I think maybe we're going to go... Probably to Stranglethorn Vale. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to do this one. I want to... Uh, Where's that quest? Vivian Legrand. Where is it? Interlands. 
Yeah, maybe we'll go to the hinterlands, and we'll do uh, we'll do some hinterlands quests because we there's so many there that we didn't get to finish. So I think that's what we're gonna do next, or maybe we'll go back to Undercity. I really don't know. Kind of at a crossroads here, but that's the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.